I, when I read the book, I loved the characters. Um, and there were so many stories to tell in that book. And there were characters who I don't think you could sell a series on, but Piper was the perfect entree into this world. You could take this yuppie white girl and follow her in and through her as like a gateway drug, you can tell all these other stories as well. Uh, and I got really excited about that. We did a lot of research. We read a lot of books. We had a visit. Uh, we went to Chino, a women's facility in Chino with all the writers. And we went at first and we looked around and we're like, this isn't that bad. And within 10 or 15 minutes, we could not wait to get out of there. It was just like, you can't leave and you're, you're, you're under the thumb of this bureaucracy and it's oppressive and it's... It was not a place he wanted to be. But um, I was speaking with the assistant warden who had worked in a men's prison. And um, I said, what's the difference here? And he said, men are out for themselves and women are communal. Um, they form families, they share. Um, and I thought that was just a really interesting difference. I never set out to make Oz. It wasn't men's prison, it was women's prison. And there's a great history of shows about women's prison. Um, and we wanted to just put our spin on it. Maybe viewers will be surprised by the tone of the show. Um, it's not a dark, ominous women in prison thing, I think. I think humor is a survival technique, and I think if you just did a straight drama about prison, it would become so oppressive. No one would want to be there. It would become oppressive to write. Um, and I find everything funny, which gets me in trouble sometimes. So um, I, I think uh, tonally, you know, it's, it's another hybrid. Um, we can go for our dramatic moments and we can go for our comedic moments and, and not apologize and not have to conform to a specific form for that. I just want them talking. I want people to have discussions or fights or arguments or um, I just want people to talk about it and be invested. I want them to fall in love with these women. I love these women, even when they do horrible things. Um, I want them to fall in love with the characters we've made and, and, want, and, and care about them. And by caring about them, start maybe thinking about broader issues um, and, and how what's happening to them reverberates. Uh, you know, Taylor came to us through casting um, and, you know, gave an incredible audition, but also just we were looking for that accessible white girl, that waspy white girl that you could take into prison and, and that a certain audience could relate to and say, they're, by, they're but for the grace of God. You know, that could be me or I know that girl. Um, and then, you know, follow her through her experiences and expand the world. Uh, in general, I don't shy away from much. Um, this is my soapbox. This is my way of expressing myself. Um, and if I'm given a platform, I'm going to step up on it. Uh, but you don't want to preach to anyone. And you don't want to, you know, no one wants to be lectured to. So my job is to entertain. And if it gets a conversation started or gets people talking, great. Um, 
I always have an agenda in the back of my mind, but um, first and foremost, you know, I want people to fall in love with these characters and enjoy watching this show. I'm proud to turn on the TV and see a hundred different women on the screen of every age and every color and every race. I have not seen that before. And to be able to tell all their stories is a privilege and something that I've been surprised hasn't been out there before. Um, and I feel really proud of that, that we put all these amazing ladies up there and get to tell their stories. They're criminals, but, <laughs> but they're amazing.